Now, one of the things I do is I shoot blow guns. That's well known. I've done videos on it. And this little four inch commercial dart is what they want you to be happy with in a 40 caliber. I prefer to shoot 50, but needless to say, that's that one. What I did though, I went out and I got a heavier wire, twice as thick as this wire. If you can see it, that isn't the best one. Here's the best one. The, uh, if you can see, it's almost twice as long. Instead of a four inch, it's just short of eight inches, just short of eight inches. And I assure you, an eight inch dart is a lot more fun to shoot than a little bitty flimsy four inch. And so I make these on the candy truck when nobody is around and I'm waiting for the next customer. And I found this is a nice little hobby to do and profitable. And profitable. Because adults like to shoot blow guns. And they like to have a better dart than these little flimsy commercial stuff. And the penetration is over 50% more with a larger dart. They're also a lot easier to find if you shoot them into grass or something of that nature. That's one of the things I started doing in 2013. You're on Don's 52 channel, and I am Mr. Bill. It's an honor to have you here. Well, 2013 summer's over. I said it's over. Last week, the swimming pool closed, and uh, I had a real mellow year. I really did uh, there. Uh, the heat was tough. Some of those 130 degree days were pretty hard on me. But with that in mind, I got through it. And of course, school starts this very next week. But looking back over 2013, what are some things that rattled the cage and made me uh, come up with new and inventive ways to do things differently? And maybe it might help you. Well, of course, the old standby I've talked about numerous times is the wild gourd leaf. The wild gourd leaf I make a sun tea out of it and then I put that on my plants and since nothing in the bug world eats a wild gourd leaf, nothing in the bug world eats it, they, when it's sprayed that liquid on other plants, the bugs think that's a wild gourd and they leave it alone. And so it has worked extremely well for me on that concept. And I continually push it. Another thing that I do find though, that uh, I have, no matter what I do, including with the wild gourd leaf, I have some, not a lot, but some damage with the potatoes, no matter what I do. And that tells you that of all the plants that I have in my yard, potato leaves are, must be the most nutritious and the most tasty to the bugs. And to prevent them from eating it is a way to try to control that. And the wild gourd leaf helps some, but not, a, not perfect, though, not perfect. So what I did, I then decided to take the wild gourd uh, leaf and uh, instead of fighting it that way, go the other direction and use a potato leaf. The potato leaf and soak it for a week in a sun tea uh, type thing. Then I'll take that and I spray that on weeds. Every yard has a few places that weeds get ahead of you. And it's a great place for the bugs to hide, grasshoppers, the different bugs you don't want. They hide there. They don't eat the weeds. They just hide in the weeds. And so what I did was I sprayed those weeds with potato leaf sun tea. And I was amazed. I said I was amazed of the damage that was caused then by the bugs as they must have thought they were eating potato leaves again. So if we could possibly perfect this, it would mean we would no longer need herbicides and possibly even pesticides down the road. And I think this world and our future generations would uh, be a lot safer if we could eliminate those two and get the bugs, to, instead of being our enemy, to be our friend and to eat the crops that we don't want, the plants that we don't want. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. I want to thank you for your time. And, of course, I also collected bug eggs. And I've been doing that this year and trying to find new ways to prevent different bugs from uh, propagating. So needless to say, these are some of the things I did this year. I hope you've had a good year, and I'll finish it with this. I had uh, one day a couple of gentlemen come to my door, and I opened up the door, and they were two men there, and they, one of them, he, uh, he said, it's him, it's Mr. Bill. And I invited them in, and they uh, said that they were from England. I said they said they were from England. And of course, on their tour through uh, the United States, 
they took time to stop and see Mr. Bill. And that was a blessing and an honor for me to have them stop. And we exchanged information and a lot of different stories, and we had a great time. And I want to thank them and all the YouTube people that make contact with me and the few that do stop by now and then. Cook Mr. Bill, have a good evening.